we're making cucidati, which is an old Italian recipe from Sicily. I got this recipe from my mother, who was Mary Consilla, and she got it from her mother-in-law, who was Rose Consilla, probably over a hundred years ago. I'm sure my grandmother got it from her mother, so I have no idea how old it is, but I know it's an old, old one. Uh, I've been making them now for 67 years. I don't know, my recipe card has to be 50 years old. It's a mess. I have to start uh, a new one. And so now I'm trying to pass it on to my daughter, who would be second generation. Her daughter, Carly, who would be third generation. And Lucia is here to help also, and Margot, and their fourth generation. The filling is four rings of figs, one box of raisins, and two 10 ounce packages of pitted dates, and five and a half cups of walnuts toasted. The figs have to be put in hot water because they're so hard. And then after I drain them, I probably use them in hot water for about a half hour. And after I drain them, I cut the little stems out before we grind. And the raisins you go through, there's little stems on the raisins. And be sure to check the dates. I found two pits in the pitted dates. So you don't want those in your grinder. I'm mixing the dough. It took two cups of melted Crisco, cup and a half of sugar, four and a half tablespoons of baking powder, a pinch of salt, and six egg yolks, and a teaspoon and a half of vanilla. And that is our, our dough. I use the mixer first. Now the rest has to be done by hand. And that's it. So we have to get the rest of this done. And usually I need help because it's so hard. So we have to have that second generation helping and third. <laughs> I can't tell you how much flour I use because it's never been measured. My mother just said, put the flour in until it leaves the bowl. <laughs> and that's what we've done all these years. We make our cutouts with the same dough. My daughter and my daughter-in-law both make the cutouts with this dough. So this is my daughter, Diana. And Marie has to take a turn. So she's another daughter. And there's Lucia. Hi, Lou. Diana's been helping me the last three years, but up until then, I did it by myself. I think it might be still too, yeah, it's still too sticky to, uh... It's a workout. And daughter Carly, she's third generation. She's doing the last of the mixing, and I think this is gonna do it. And this is my great-granddaughter, Lucia. She's fourth generation. She's learning how to make the dough for the cuchidati. It sticks to my fingers. I know it does. Look, at <laughs> great grandma has it all over her fingers, too. Your aunt, Auntie Marie, used to eat this dough. Oh, it's the best. And I'd say, no, no, it has raw eggs in it. You can't eat it. But she would oh, eat it anyway. So good. What do you think, honey? It has raw eggs in it. <laughs> And this is my great-granddaughter, Margo. She's a year and a half. And she's learning how to Pretty make Gucci Dati. strong enough. Yeah, can you stir? Whoa. Good. Just like Lucia did. Very good. Good girl. This dough has to be rolled in a rectangle and then cut in probably two and a half inch strips. And then we put the filling in, roll them up, and then cut them. at an angle, and don't ask me why, but my mother always went like this. She made two little slits on the side. So 
Oh yeah, see that's perfect. But my grandmother used to make them in a horseshoe. But my mother never did for a while and then she started cutting them straight. I guess it was for luck. This is where I put my cookies after I take them out of the oven. Yeah, and this is our size right here for us, for us family. This one, see? Yeah. Yeah, see, these are, these are perfect like this to put in a cookie dish. We'll just keep going like this until we're all done. Okay, I'm gonna make this frosting. I'm gonna do red this time. We have green and we have white. And now we're gonna do red. It's just, I just make mine with powdered sugar and water. I don't measure, I just pour until I get the right consistency. See, now that's too watery. And we're gonna put a little more in there. Okay, so we're gonna put a little bit of red in here. I don't like it real bright red. Which color do you wanna paint? You know how, you remember, right? And then, that's, oh, look at that. You have to put your sprinkle on it. Oh, is that beautiful? Yes, it is. That's the best part, huh? Is go ahead and do another one, babe. You might want to hold it with your hand. That a girl. Oh, very good, very good. Bellissimo, delicious. And this is how we make our Ruchidati. Have fun and enjoy if you're going to make them. Merry Christmas and a blessed new year.